This is Tonichi's CEM3-BT2 digital torque wrench with Bluetooth in duplex mode. You are required to purchase a Bluetooth dongle like this one, which is available at many retail outlets uh, for about $10 or $15 or less. Um, once you connect the Bluetooth with the CEM, the Bluetooth connection light will turn on on the transmitter then you know the connection has been made. With the Bluetooth version 2, you're allowed to send different torque settings to the CEM in order to do specific torque tightening applications. We have a demo software that allows you to set up different torque tightening and you do that by going into the settings and you see you can you select the proper CEM mode. This is a CEM 103 by 15D. Uh, then you can type in the serial number and the number of fasteners you'd like uh, to perform. Uh, your target torque is your lower limit here and the upper limit um, is the high torque value that's allowable. In this demo program, we have two different, uh, I programmed in the same wrench, but we're going to do uh, two fasteners at 31, and we'll do three fasteners at 23. So you'll see how the CEM uh, will accept this information from the, the computer wirelessly, and then it will transition to the second torque setting and then it will send the data directly wirelessly back to the computer so you can save your data that you've collected without any error or any changes. You'll see that the first setup is for a target torque of 31 newton meters for two different fasteners. The CEM has already sent this information or the PC has already sent the information to the CEM so you'll see in the display that it'll say T or the target torque is 31.0 newton meters. So then it's prepared to do the two fasteners and it's highlighted the first uh, tightening application in green and I've already sent one to the computer um, at 32.8 newton meters so it automatically goes in and stores that value. So this is my second uh, fastener on the first 31 application. And um, I was not able to reach the target torque, so it gave me a red light to alert me that I hadn't achieved my torque. And if I send that value um, into memory, it'll turn the screen red and show me that um, I'm below my uh, target torque value. Once I've achieved uh, the correct torque value, I can then save it. Um, it then switched over um, to the second torque value. You can see now it says T23.0, um, which is the second torque application. And it recorded the, the last correct torque value uh, in the database. So then you can go and do the second torque value, which has a target torque of 23 newton meters and three fasteners and then it'll automatically loop back around to the first tightening application of 31 automatically. So with the CEM3 Bluetooth 2 version it allows you to send different torque values to the wrench, collect the data, and send the data back to a PC.